good morning people <laughs> we were heading out today going only uh, about six and a half seven miles but it's downhill slippery rainy yeah so uh, we'll see i'm kind of hiding here but um, get out of the weather and also hopefully get some of the wind noise out of the video but we're heading out today going only you know, like i said a couple couple hours probably maybe two three hours to to get down with the bottom and i'm gonna stay overnight at the bottom just because and then we start the long trek over to uh Saria, where everybody in the planet goes <laughs> if you didn't know you can actually fly in or bus in or whatever to Saria, and it's only 100 kilometers and that takes you to Santiago and you can get your Compostela with only 100 kilometers under your belt instead of seven or 800 kilometers under your belt. So it's a, it's a big big point where everybody goes and starts. So it's gonna, it's gonna probably be a zoo there all the way to the coast or all the way to Santiago at least. All right, here we go. Coming off the top of the, the mountain there. So far, the trail's been really, really nice. Gradual descent. The big steep stuff's not here yet, apparently. This has been a wonderful downhill. Coming down that mountain, it's just been really nice. It's not the straight down rocky bedrock, twist your ankle kind of stuff. It's just like a, an eight foot wide farm road. Um, really nice compacted gravel. It's really steep in some areas. You probably have to have a, an all wheel drive vehicle to get up. But pretty much it's just, it's just a gravel road the whole way down so far. and. I'm more than two thirds of the way down, so I'm not expecting too much more than this. And this is a sudden steep drop off, but it looks like it's just, it's just the road. It's not the typical kind of trail like you've seen before, where you just plummet through all this bedrock and loose shale and, you know, twist your ankle somewhere. This is just a nice smooth walking path. Let me see if I can. Just a nice smooth walking path. Beautiful parallels the highway a little bit sometimes and there's, you know there's some steep spots but other than that man this is a really really pleasant surprise it's not pouring down rain like it was supposed to be it's overcast and cool which is nice but <laughs> man no rain i mean this wouldn't be bad in the rain even it's just a gravel road pretty much either gravel or hard packed dirt you know so <laughs> i'm i'm loving this one this is like okay it was up tough coming up over it but uh, the downhill this is the this is the nicest downhill I think I've seen, unless you're walking just on asphalt, but that's so hard on the feet. This is nice and soft and it's, it's steep, but it's not bad.
what an amazing downhill walk. It looks so ugly in the morning with the weather report and the expectation of just, you know, sheer straight down bedrock like we've been having the rest of the whole trip here. This has just been really, really awesome. And the little villages you pass through are just incredible. Ancient little farming villages with so much history and rich. You can just see the richness in the, the background and how many families and generations maybe have lived there. So, I mean, this, this downhill is not to be missed. You know, this is one of those go downhill, turn around, go back uphill and see it again. It, it's just an amazing little section. It's only like six miles to get down, but it's taken me like, I think I'm on my third hour now because I've been stopping and talking with people and, and looking at the towns and the histories and walking back up into the hillside and getting all the animals and the dogs and the cats and the cows and the farm tractors. And it, it's just, this has been what a pleasant, pleasant walk to go downhill people when you get to the top there don't miss this walk don't get a bicycle you can run a bicycle up there at the top don't get a bicycle it's only you know two hour two and a half hour walk very very pleasant uh this <laughs> this has just been wonderful what a what a end to the crossings of the the last big mountain range sometimes you need earplugs for the birds they're so loud all right we're heading into the little town where I'll be staying tonight. And then the, the, tomorrow's the big, the big run over to Saria, which nobody's looking forward to it because that's where everybody's gonna be taking off to get their 100K, as short as it is. <laughs> they, still, they can still do it. And yeah, it's probably okay for people with time limits and stuff so they can feel they've done it, at least got a taste of the flavor. So the, there's, I'm just joking around, there's no bitterness or anything, but you know, you do get that like, seriously, I could have just walked five days and got the certificate instead of 45 days. Yeah, well, but look at all the stuff I got to see, you got to see hopefully and enjoy. And we got about a week left for me to get out to the coast. So I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to that kilometer marker zero, the big zero. Can't go any further. Here's the lighthouse. There's the, you know, there's the Atlantic Ocean. You're not going any further. All right, onward and forward, down into town. <laughs>